Good afternoon, everyone in Redeemer land. I apologize for this being so late today. Uh, we are having uh, technical difficulties with our camera and, and the tablet and the internet. And so, uh, uh, well, it is what it is. So um, our Old Testament reading for the Festival of the Holy Trinity is the entire first chapter of Genesis plus the first four verses of chapter two. And um, as, as you hear that, I'm only gonna read a few of the, the parts of this um, because we remember this is uh, the account of creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void and darkness was over the face of the deep and the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over the livestock and all, over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God said, be fruitful and increase, multiply and fill the earth and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea and the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that, thing that moves on the earth. <clears throat> when we think about a masterpiece, you think about you know, works of art, you know, like the Mona Lisa, like uh, the Sistine Chapel ceiling, like... Um, you know, Michelangelo's uh, sculpture of David. And I, and I want you to think about um, the masterpiece that was made is by the hands of a master. Hence the word masterpiece. And so isn't all creation and you and I God's masterpiece? Now what would happen if while working on one of his masterpieces, you know, da Vinci would have accidentally destroyed it. Would he make it over again? Or what if it had happened if someone else destroyed one of his masterpieces while he was still alive? Would he recreate it? Yeah, I guess it would depend on how much he loved it, how much he wanted to make sure that it existed again. Well, isn't that what happened with you and me? God loved us so much that when we, his masterpiece, were destroyed by our own sinful actions, Adam and Eve and each and every one of us have fallen into sin. And so we are destroyed, destroyed from the image that God created us to be, from the masterpiece God wanted us to be. And so God chooses to recreate us. And that's what it means to be redeemed by Jesus Christ. That now when he places his Holy Spirit in our minds and in our hearts, he recreates us. Recreates us to be the masterpiece that he wanted all along. We were created by him and him and his image. And so by faith, that masterpiece starts to be recreated. By God's word and sacrament, that masterpiece starts to take shape anew. And as we're made a new creation, then the new man that we are being made after the likeness of our creator is constantly taking shape. You know, Paul reminds us in Ephesians 4 that we're to put on the new self created after the likeness of our creator. And, and so every day as we hear God's word, receive Christ's body and blood, every day as we embrace the gifts that Christ gives us by faith, we are being renewed, recreated in the image of our master, in the image of our Savior, in the image of the one who has given us life and joy 
a joy-filled reunion with all those who've gone before us in faith. May we daily put on the new man or the new woman created after the likeness of our Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we pray that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit and recreate us each and every day by the power of your word and the gift of your sacrament to put on the new man or the new woman to have the image of our creator in us so that we may glorify his name in all we do and in every word we say. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessings all and have a blessed day in Christ.